right here. We're going to walk down to the Capitol. There are some protests happening uh, down outside the Capitol. Uh, they appear to be Trump supporters who are frustrated with the outcome and are trying to breach some of that uh, the, those security uh, perimeters around the Capitol. And we'll stand in recess until the call of the chair. We'll pause. Protesters are in the building. Thank you. We have visual evidence that, that some protesters have made it inside the Capitol building around the security and are gathering around the area where the Senate was in session from the president. Please support our Capitol Police and law enforcement. They are truly on the side of our country. Stay peaceful. Uh, right over here, you can actually see right here, this is a caravan of vehicles from the Metropolitan Police Department. So this is not Capitol Police. This is not National Guard. This is District of Columbia Police. Uh, they came in their riot gear and entered the Capitol. Uh, we have seen others uh, from the National Guard and other, uh, other law enforcement agencies. And then in just the last few minutes, we also have seen uh, some snipers. I call on this mob to pull back and allow the work of democracy to go forward. I call on President Trump to go on national television now to fulfill his oath and defend the Constitution and demand an end to this siege. The Capitol building has been cleared. Now they're working to clear the Capitol grounds. And as I reported just a moment ago, okay. Associated Press now reporting and NBC News reporting that the police have used tear gas and percussion grenades to begin clearing protesters from the U.S. Capitol. There was a shooting at the Capitol today and that in fact the shooting victim has died. The account of Donald Trump will be locked for 12 hours following the removal of the tweets, the tweets that Twitter deemed incite violence. If the tweets are not removed, the count will remain locked. The announcement of the state of the vote by the President of the Senate shall be deemed a sufficient declaration of the persons elected President and Vice President of the United States, each for the term beginning.